Our brain defines us. It gives us our personality, our humanity, and our abilities. Attributes we often take for granted unless something bad happens. You might wonder why I have a picture of Michael Schumacher in here. Well, as you may already know, he is one of the greatest ever Formula One drivers, but unfortunately, he recently hit his head, which causes brain damage. Now, people often think if you hit your head that this is the cause of the brain damage, but actually, it's not. It's all start with the lack of the blood supply. When anyone had a head injury, this will cause the lack of the blood supply to the brain cells, which causes the lack of the oxygen. And once happened, the brain cells start to stop functioning normally, so they can't pump out molecules and ions to the outside of the cells, which start to accumulate inside along with the waste product, making the inside of the cell much more concentrated. And as you already remember from the science that you did at the school, that the waters will go into an area which is more concentrated. And that exactly what happens inside the brain. The waters will go in, causing the brain cells to swell, but because of the skull, it squashes the brain, causing the brain damage. Now, crucially, this water goes into the brain cell through a tiny protein structures called the aquaporins, which are essentially just the specific holes for water. The idea around my research is can we control the movement of these aquaporins into or outside the cells, trying to help the clinician to treat brain edema by giving them more time to interfere or the body more time to heal when a couple of minutes is a life-changing time. One of the major challenges was how we can actually study a whole, which are essentially what these aquaporins are, in such a vibrant environment like our cells and body. And one of the things that we do is we take in a piece of green fluorescent protein extracted from a jellyfish and we stick it to our aquaporins. Then when we put them inside the living cell, the aquaporin will glow green, as you can see here under the microscope, and they eventually can be seen studied how they move around the cells. Throughout our research, we have discovered a novel mechanisms that enable us to control the movement of these aquaporin. And more importantly, we've actually found that these mechanisms occur in real life by doing genetic screening and analysis on patient and tissue samples. Being successful in applying these mechanisms, we will be able to develop novel drug that specifically target these aquaporins to treat the brain edema. This will help toward the global annual spend of over 600 billion pounds that are spent for the brain and related injury, and more importantly, toward the saving of the life of over 3 million patients that dies every year. Thank you very much.